YouTube, it's your boy Tony D2Y checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual back with another banger today, guys, on the upcoming Jordan 1 Pine Green 2.0. Guys, we have here the upcoming Jordan 1 Pine Green 2.0 set to release on February 29th. And this is paying tribute in a way to the original Pine Green that released back in September of 2018. Now, before we get into today's video, man, we dropped the pickup vlog on this two days ago and it did great as far as the, the, the engagement, people talking. But a lot of people were upset with the fact that I was not digging this shoe. I don't understand where that came from. I, I, I never seen it like that before. Guys, my opinion, whether I like a shoe or don't, doesn't dictate whether the shoe is hot or not. Doesn't dictate whether you should go buy the shoe or not. What I think is cool, it's not cool. It's cool to me. It don't mean it's cool to you. It don't mean it's cool to society. Nobody runs that. Only you dictate what's cool to you and what's cool to society and what's hot and what's not. My opinions are just my opinions. If you want to hear my opinions, or a lot of people do want to hear my opinions, just take them for what they are, opinions. I had a lot of people in the comment section stating, you know, don't let these influencers, don't let these YouTubers tell you what you need or not need to buy. I never told you not to buy these. I just told you I'm not buying these. You know what I'm saying? That's just it. Overall though, the shoe itself is nothing wrong with it. It's just not my cup of tea. Guys, do you know how many times I reviewed a sneaker on box of sneaker, Pumas, Nikes, Jordans, that I liked, that you said is trash can water, that you said is basuda, that you said is ugly, whack, whatever, right? Did that ever stop me from copping it? Did that ever stop me from rocking it? No. And that's what it should be for you as well. So keep that in mind. We don't make followers over here. We make leaders. I want you to be a leader. Just because I don't like this or I'm not feeling this, don't stop yourself from buying it. Take the images, take the footage, take the B-roll, the quality, the words I'm saying, and make your own opinion of whether or not you need to go and get it. And if the video don't do enough, go and see it yourself in Foot Locker and make your own decision. My opinions are just my opinions, and we'll leave it at that. So guys, we got the Pine Greens, the 2.0s, and off the rip, I can tell you guys, these are dope when it comes to the color blocking. I'm all for it. I'm all for the black and green. On the box, it says black, pine, green, and I'm all for the color blocking. You know, the main part that threw me off about this whole entire shoe was the green itself and the material. It's a very, 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 very tumbled material. And it is not as soft as I have wanted. It's a stiff. It's a stiff. When you push it, like, it doesn't give. You know what I'm saying? More so on the, t on the ankle part, it gives a little bit, but it doesn't give you that impression that, you know, that I was looking for. When I went into Soul Play, I was going in to get this shoe and, you know, be with it. When I got it, that's where the disappointment came. And that's why I was disappointed. But overall, I mean, that's just, once again, my opinion. The green, I wasn't feeling that material. The black, on the other hand, it's a different thing. It's, it's very soft, has a nice little feel to it when you rub your finger and thumbs through it. Uh, it gives a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Like when you push it on it, check out how the, you know, the wrinkles are. It's just an overall very stiff shoe, more, a little bit more stiff than what I'm normally used to or want. And the icing on the cake for this sneaker, the main thing, guys, breads, royals, bread toes, court purples, pine greens, shadows, black toes, you know what I'm saying? We've had a lot of the Jordan 1 OGs that have came out, and a lot of them in classic colorways, some in some spinoffs of the classic colorways. And this is something very similar. Very similar to like a Celtics that released back in the day. The pine green kind of was similar to a Celtic and this was as well. The thing that threw me off the most was the fact that this didn't fall in line with the rest of those. When you look at the materials that used. The materials on the shadow is very similar to the materials on a pine green. The materials on a bretto is similar to the pine green in the shadow. They all kind of have a similar, you know, similar material usage, I would say. You know, the toe box is a little slightly tumbled. The leather on the black is fairly good. The back part of the ankle, that color is very smooth usually. This one kind of just has its own little switcheroo to it. It feels like a mixture of a Sports Illustrated one and a crimson tint. The green itself being 
crimson tinny, very, very tumbled. If you remember the crimson tint, the black was extremely like tumbled. However, this is, like I said, a little bit more stiff, even on the toe box, a little bit more stiff than normal. Also kind of similar to the Jordan 1 LA that released a couple years back. Now, like I said, the black featured a very smooth leather, very similar to what I felt like on a Sports Illustrated. It feels very, very smooth. I like this black, I cannot lie. If you put this black throughout the whole shoe, you might be talking a little bit different on my tip. The tongue itself features that nylon tongue with a leather tab. The tab itself is the same tab that was used on previous models of the Jordan 1 black satin that released earlier this year. I had stated it had the Sports Illustrated tongue, which similarities are there, but it isn't the same exact tongue. I think the Sports Illustrated tongue was leather as well, but not like this. But the black satin, it featured the same exact tongue, black with the red accent. You have here a second pair of laces in red, and um, I don't see myself, I would, I mean, I'm not getting them, so it doesn't matter. I, I don't know who's gonna, let me know if you're gonna put those red ones in. I wanna know, I just wanna know who's doing that. That's all I wanna know. Um, I would have liked white, maybe, you know? White would have been a little bit better. Maybe green, white and green, white or green. I, that would've been fine with me. The red, I understand it's for this. Maybe around Christmas time or something, if you wanna look, you know, Christmas time, you can throw it in there, it is what it is. And then you have here the Jordan 1 patch. The patch itself is embroidered with a print on it and that's another thing that kind of just, I wish they would have kept it more simple with the typical print, you know, print on there and that's it. So, you know, those are the things overall that kind of just switched me up in my opinion. But overall, if you want to get this shoe and you're looking for something in black and green, it's definitely a good shoe to go after. The thing with me, it just threw me off. So overall guys, I mean, I like them. For 170 though, I could pass. I could take a seat back. If Champs sent these to me, uh, ooh, thanks Champs. Oh, these are dope. I'ma rock them, I'ma like them even more because they're free, they're a gift, and it is what it is. But for 170, I just feel like I can make a better option somewhere else down the road. Things that are sent for free and things you pay your money for, you're gonna have different opinions on. It is what it is. Now guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can take the, the opinions I say and don't take it towards like a threat to you guys. Because if you're gonna be taking it like that, that means I can't keep it real with you. That means I gotta sugarcoat shit because y'all gonna get y'all feelings hurt. Y'all, look, hold on. Uh, perfect example. Shoe, Puma, I like it. Y'all thought these were trash can. Guess what? Sent for free. Thanks, Puma. Thank you for sending these for free. Tony D, would you buy these with your own money for $100? Nah. You know what I'm saying? I probably would pick something else over that. Tony, you like these, right? Yes, I like these. Tony, you like these Jordan 1s? Yeah, I do. If you had to make a decision which one to buy, which one would you buy? I'm buying these. These are free. So I, it is what it is. So guys, this, 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 please don't, don't take offense to things that I don't like. If I don't like it, that don't mean nothing to you. Vice versa. Those are whack to you and I'm fine with it. It ain't gonna stop me from rocking it. And me thinking these ain't cool, shouldn't stop you. I love y'all, man. Check out the on foot. As I stated, man, this shoe just on visual, phenomenal, man. Like me looking at this shoe on camera, I'm like, bro, you tripping, Tony. Trust me, I know, I'm tripping on visual. Get these in hand, feel them yourself and make your final decision. Some of you guys are still gonna love them and I ain't gonna knock you for that. The black leather is nice. The green feels like an alligator's nuts and that's it. On foot, let go, man. It's your boy 20D2Wild, I'm checking in, I'm checking out. I love y'all, see y'all in the next video, peace.